and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here so today i'm going to be doing a video on an app called CapCut. so CapCut is a editing app and it is very popular amongst fan pages and editors so there are a lot of features of CapCut that people might not know or um are maybe undiscovered so i decided to do a tutorial on some of those features and before we get started i just want to let you guys know that CapCut is android and ios friendly so you can go ahead and download them using the link in the description box down below so the first thing i'm going to show you guys are two colorings using cap cut so here's the first one it is like a dark coffee type of coloring and here's the second one it's more of a light lush coloring and both of these are made using cap cut so let's get started with the tutorials on how to do them the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open CapCut and you're going to click new project and select the video you want. Then you're going to go on to filters and you're going to go on to retro and you're going to do the film filter at 50. Then you're just going to extend it so it covers through the whole video and you can delete the ending if you don't want. And this is one of the things I like about CapCut is that the ending is like removable and CapCut doesn't necessarily have a watermark on the video. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go into filters again, go into retro once again and do the VHS 3 and you're going to leave this at 100. Then over here beside filters it says adjust so you're going to click that. You're going to go into brightness. Brightness is at negative 20. Contrast is at um, 20, so positive. Saturation is negative 40, and you can adjust this depending on the lighting, so how dark you want the coloring to be. Exposure is plus 10. Sharpen is plus 20. So you can do this according to your liking. If you want, like, say, 100 or, say, 30, you can do that, but I suggest doing 20. And highlight is also plus 20. So that is it for the adjust. Now you are going to go back and click on to effects, video effects, go on to bling, use the star one, and you are going to put the size to 49, the number to 45, and the filter to 100. So you're going to keep the filter 100, and you can extend this and that is it for the first coloring so um to export it over here at the top it says 1080p so th that's the resolution and you can make the resolution higher and there's also smart um hdr so that is also for the resolution and you can turn that on if you want your resolution to be higher so uh, if you want like the video to have better quality and for it to not be blurry so you can go ahead and do that and then you can export the video and then it will be in your camera roll and that is it for the first coloring. So now we're going to move on to the second coloring. So for the second coloring, you're going to import your video once again, go on to filters, retro, you're going to do VHS 1 at 100 and then you're going to just drag it so it covers through the whole video. Then you're going to do filters again, and this time you're going to do food and white tea at 100 once again. Then you're going to go into adjust. So brightness will be plus 5. Contrast is negative 25. And saturation is negative 15. Exposure is 15. And sharpen is 50. And lastly, highlight is negative 25 then you're just going to drag it and you are going to once again go on to effects video effects bling and do the star one so it's you're just going to leave it the way it is so the settings that are already there you're just going to leave it you're not going to adjust them and then you can make the resolution higher and export this coloring too so both of these are really easy and they're kind of like two different styles and you can um play around with the filters to make a kind of like new coloring and you don't have to give credits if you don't want to 
But um, that is it for the second coloring. And now we're going to move on to the second editing tip. So here is the second tip I have, and it is a, a video quality tutorial. So this one is mainly for editors because I know they like to use like clips with good resolution, good quality. So here's the clip I'm going to be doing an example with this and this clip of Jenny and Lisa. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to get a better quality on these clips, even though they have pretty good quality so far. So you're going to go into CapCut and you're going to import your video, your clip. And you are going to go on to Effects, Video Effects, scroll down to Comic, do the Neon one, and that you're just going to leave it at that. Then you're going to go on to Video Effects again, click Basic, and do Blur. Then you're going to save this with high resolution. After you saved it, you're going to go back and you are going to import your previous video. And you're going to your like original video with no filters you're going to add the video we just had we just added filters on through an overlay then you're going to click splice you're going to click dodge and you're going to make it 50. then you are going to click effects again video effects go on to retro nostalgic light Make the intensity 29, filter 0, and range 68. You can adjust the range depending on how bright you want. I might do 50, 51. I'm just going to do 51. Then you're going to go into adjust, sharpen, and you can add sharpen. Let's say do 50. And that is it for the first video. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to save this with high resolution. And this is how the clip should look. So now I'm going to do the same with the second clip. And there you go. You ha I've done it for the second clip as well. So that is it for the second trick. Now we're going to move on to some the third tip I have for you guys. So the third tip is um, a tip using text. So the first one we're going to do is how to get text behind person. So I know a lot of editors use this for thumbnails of their edits and everything. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do it on CapCut and for free. So you're going to import your clip. I'm just going to use this clip. Add text and you can write whatever you want to write. I'm just going to write example. You can write the name of the person or um, you can write your username, anything. And then you are going to click style. The font I'm going to do is modern. Then you can click shadow and add a little bit of shadow. You can make the text as big as you want or as small. Then you're going to click the text again and you're going to scroll down until you see animation. Click loop and do tremble. So the text will be like moving around like this. Then you're going to make the resolution high and export this. Then you're going to click, you're going to, you're going to add the video you just added text on. Click overlay, add overlay, add your original clip, make the size bigger. And at the bottom, it should say remove background, so you're just going to click that. Your background will be removed, and then you have your clip. So you can obviously make the text bigger and everything, just to um, see the text better. And you can write anything you want. I obviously just wrote example, but it should look something like this, and yeah. So here is the last and final text tip I have for you guys. So it is a text flashing tip. So the text will be like flashing. And this is also used for thumbnails or um, edits. I've seen a lot of people do edits where it involves like text. So what you're going to do is you're going to add a photo of just a black screen. It's just a black screen. Nothing really special. You're going to add text and you are going to write. I'm just going to write example. And you're going to make the color anything but white. So I'm just going to do purple. 
and you're just going to make the color anything but white. Then you are going to add another text, write the exact same thing, but this time make the color white. And then you're going to scroll down to animation, loop, and do a random flash. So it's going to look like this. You can make the um, first layer red, and it will be flashing for red. Like this. And you can make it any color you want. There are um, different types of animations you can do. For example, like wavy. You can do tremble. You can do flash. And you can just play around. There are so many things you can do. So um, I'm going to do random flash and you can make it fast or slow. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my CapCut tutorial and things you can do using the app CapCut because there are um, various features of CapCut that are still, I guess you can say, undiscovered and not many people know how to use them. So in this video, I covered three different categories and I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!